Hello, my friend. And welcome to your Reiki session. For today's session, we are going to be doing some really beautiful negativity removal. Just removing any of that stagnant, sticky, dark energy that might be coming up for you. And it's helpful to just sort of mitigate some of those emotions, trapped emotions, blocked emotions that kind of pop up as a result of this kind of disconnection. We're just creating a beautiful flow here. So we're going to be removing things like self-doubt. Don't need that. <laughs> we're going to be removing judgment of ourselves and others. We're going to be removing things like self-limiting beliefs and any blockages when it comes to trusting when it comes to creativity, when it comes to confidence and self-worth, when it comes to gratitude and really being able to appreciate what we have, when it comes to expressing ourselves, when it comes to connecting with our intuition or wisdom, when it comes to connecting with the divine. So we want to be able to access all of these aspects having really balanced chakra system and in order to do that it's helpful every now and again to do a little bit of negativity removal negativity elimination so we're going to be using several different crystals that i have here i'm going to start with some selenite some selenite I wanted to uh, tell a little story, I guess. So, one of you. Uh, so, I heard from a, an acquaintance that one of you watches, um, is part of this collective family here. And the compliment, it was a com really beautiful compliment. Um, and it meant so much to me. So um, it was just really, really nice to hear that these sessions here help you. Like, it was so nice. And uh, getting to hear that, not in person, but sort of through my like real life, I guess. Uh, that was so nice. And I just want you all to know that I am so grateful to you. I feel so incredibly honored that I get to hang out with you twice a week. That we get to share what we're moving through. All of your comments, like every single kind comment that you've ever left has meant so much to me. Like... You have no idea. Watching my videos, like being part of this collective group of people who are just sort of trying to figure out this life thing, just to do it a little bit better and uh, try our best to maybe brighten our little corner of the world. That's so nice and so important and so helpful and beautiful to be able to connect with you in any way. And so I just want to start by saying thank you so much because I feel such a, I feel such a boost from you. It's so lifted. And I just want you to know if you've ever sent kind energy my way or left me a comment or something like that, it means so much. Like it really just does. So thank you, and thank you too. 
you who shared that comment with my acquaintance. That was really, really nice to hear. Very uplifting and inspiring. So, I'm gonna start with doing some cleansing in your aura. How are you feeling today? It can be nice and helpful just to it's almost sort of like after rainy day because it's super rainy here now <laughs> just pouring down rain just like which honestly right now I'll take over the snow <laughs> but and I love rain it's so cozy but you know when you're out all day and you've got your cold like wet cold clothes on and you come home and you start peeling off those layers and you slowly start to feel like yourself again start to feel warmer start to feel safer start to feel a little bit more comfortable that's what we're doing here with this initial kind of cleansing we're just removing your outer layers kind of shedding your coat Shedding your coat. Removing the outer layers here. Shedding. And as we do this, we make room for you. We give you more freedom. More freedom of movement. And we allow you to choose what kind of, let's say, energy, but what kind of clothes you want to put on. Now we'll do a little bit of a deeper cleansing with another selenite wand. So, this is like peeling off the next layer of clothes. So let's say you took off, we removed your raincoat. Or like, let's say you weren't even wearing a raincoat. We removed your regular coat. And now, that was wet and sticky. And now we're removing your sweater. Of your requests are definitely 
definitely considered. It's just about, sometimes it's just about problem solving. So, okay, my loves. Okay, okay, okay. Shedding this layer. So, if you're using this to help you prep for sleep, this is just removing that sweater layer. Removing, let's say, any interactions from the day. Just letting it go. Sometimes it's easy to kind of obsess over things. Maybe especially when we're getting ready for bed. Things get a little quiet. Our minds maybe are used to the stillness. And they start to play with us. And start to kind of tell us stories. Or ruminate on things. Or maybe project into the future. And so we really want to try our best to be present, be present, be present, present here and now, present, present. to help you be more present. I think presence is the most important thing on the planet. I think it helps us with every aspect of our lives. So I'm just moving down your body. I think it helps us to be more loving. Love is presence. It's being present with those we care about. It's extending our presence to those who need compassion. It's about being present with ourselves. It's what self-love is all about. Dedicating time to being with ourselves. And we can't really meet our own needs if we're not present with them, if we're not clear on what they are. <laughs> and when we're curious about what we're moving through and all of that. That's really how we can start to give ourselves what we need, which then fosters trust, trust that we'll be safe, taken care of. Let's do some clearing in the mental plane here. So, once we feel safe and we can trust, then we can start to enjoy things. That's when we can start to be creative. That's when we can start to really believe in ourselves, start to think about our place in the world, our connection with the world, what we want, and have the confidence to go after these things. And then we can start to feel real gratitude for everything that we have because we believe that we're worthy of it. And then we can start extending love and compassion to others. And then we can start to express ourselves fully, really resonate with the authentic expression of our true selves. Doesn't that sound freaking glorious? This is who I am. I stand firmly in my truth. Ah, that's nice. Okay. And we can also connect more deeply with our intuition and our wisdom because that requires trust. And we can trust in our ability to connect with spirit. Because when we are not trusting and when we feel unsafe and when we feel insecure, it's very difficult to release the cynicism enough to start trusting 
in spirit, in the universe, in our higher selves, in our intuition, in our truth, in our gratitude, in love, confidence, creativity, emotion. really have to have that kind of foundation of safety and that's why the root chakra, muladhara chakra, is the first chakra. Once we start there, then we move up. It's sort of like with each level, we can graduate. It's so great. Very beautiful, very cleansing here, removing some more negativity. Okay, so we're going to light this fern and myrtle. So 
on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self in loving comfort and imperfect balance. Comfort, I said, comfort and imperfect balance. I wish to conduct this Reiki session for my beautiful, powerful, kind, strong, wise friend. For removing any negativity, eliminating any negativity. Sometimes what that means is that we are inviting unprocessed emotions or thoughts or experiences to the surface in order for those to be processed. So similarly to kind of a detox of sorts, sometimes when we remove this energy, might feel a little intense because we are encouraging a real flushing of that. And here's the thing about negativity, right? As with everything, it can teach us so much. What we're experiencing is a great teacher. And so if we can take the time to really look at what we're feeling, what we're experiencing, what we're moving through. Have the patience and the courage to kind of digest that and really sit with it and be present with it. Then that's when we can really process it and put it to rest. Instead of suppressing it, and then it'll come up, and suppressing it, and then it'll come up. So we're starting this process here, we're starting this process, but I'm also giving you some homework, leaving this open to you. Maybe journal over the next three days, get lots of sleep, drink lots of water, as with all of our Reiki sessions for the three days following, but I would love for you to really connect with anything that comes up over the next few days. Are you starting to feel like there's certain aspects that feel really pokey or sticky that are coming up? Things that were in your peripherals are now sort of like shifting into focus and you start to say, oh wow, this feels out of alignment and so does this and this piece. This whole Reiki thing is just all about trying to move to a place of alignment. Our bodies know how to heal, so we just kind of have to get out of our own way. But it's really just about coming back to our center, returning home in a sense. And we really can't do that if we continue to suppress the messages that we're receiving that are telling us that we're not fulfilled or this I'm uncomfortable in this situation or I'm not living up to my full potential or you know I'm I'm settling for something or I'm I'm not giving myself the time and space that I need or I'm not resting or I'm not communicating my needs or I'm not engaging in spiritual aspects enough or I'm not going in nature enough, whatever it is. But just knowing that this is a process and that we're all on this path. But when we come in to clear, it is, it's sort of like an invitation. So we're doing this energetic clearing, but it's an invitation for you to then take the baton and then do the work that's required to process it. My video on alchemical transmutation can be helpful for that. 
but I mean a lot of my videos here I'm sure could be helpful for, for moving for moving through those difficult emotions moving through difficult emotions could be one emotional regulation is another one there's so so many videos that you could look through in the Ricky with Anna Cannon or whatever <laughs> but anyway so I'll leave this flame open for you to just set your own intention what is it that you want to clear. Whatever comes up for you, that, that's a message. That, in and of itself, that's a message. So take your time with that if you want. But now, I'm going to light a little bit of baby incense off of our intention candle and that's just preserving that intention and then we're going to begin to do a little bit of clearing of anything that doesn't serve it it's really nice okay so what's coming up for you here Feel free to share. Feel free to share anything that's coming out here. Good, 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 good. 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 Nice. the sacred symbols outside of your heart space. a right bomb, please. Thank you. There we go. Just clearing in your right bomb. And your left bomb, please. Clearing in your left bomb. Root. Sacral. Solar plexus. Wow. Now we'll do heart. Throat. Mental Third eye and crown. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Beautiful. I'm going to take a few other stones now. I have this fossil. And I'm going to use this to pull negativity from each of your chakras. Any stuck or blocked energy, we're just going to pull it out. And then we're going to use this lovely black kyanite, black kyanite wing to kind of sever that. So we're using this to draw it to the surface. And we're using this to sever that. Cast it into our black flame. This can clear some deeper, more kind of ancient wounds. If you feel like you are struggling with sort of inner child blockages, wounds from your past, or even wounds 
emotions from a past life. We're using this to clear and cleanse. And then let me show you this one we are using. Isn't that gorgeous? Oop. To really cut that out. Beautiful kyanite wing. I feel so lucky to have this stone. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. So we're gonna start in the ground. these things as they come up, you can start to say, I know what that was. Pulling it out, cutting it off, anything to do with your connection to your true voice. Maybe someone told you when you were younger that you spoke too loud, or you were too intense, or maybe you weren't loud enough, or criticized you in some way that stuck. Pull that out. Now in the heart space, we're pulling anything out. Any cynicism, skepticism, judgment, jealousy. And this way we can make more room for acceptance, forgiveness, love, compassion. And now the solar plexus, pulling out anything blocking our confidence, our self-worth, cutting that out. Again, it could be an ancient wound, could be something simple, small, seemingly, like someone telling you something perception that they had that's based on their own unhealed wounds, wounded spaces, parent, grandparent, relative, a friend, a teacher, an acquaintance, a neighbor, something you heard on TV when you were a kid, or just some ancestral healing that needs to happen just to give you that sense of worthiness. You're so worthy of love, care, and kindness. You're worthy to live the life of your dreams. Good, 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 good. Now, in the sacral, just beneath the belly button, clearing anything that's blocking your creativity, clearing anything that's blocking your emotions, Anything that's preventing you from having a healthy connection to your emotions, preventing you from being emotionally available. And blocking you from your sensuality. For so long I felt disconnected from that gentler, softer side of myself because I was raised, I was the only girl in my family, I was raised in a household of brothers, and it was just, I felt like there wasn't space for me to be feminine, and um, it was like mocked and like ridiculed femininity, um, and it, so it always felt like I wasn't safe to explore that side. So I 
feel so grateful for my female friends that helped pull that out and my male friends that helped me connect with that as well um, and my mom <laughs> for sure for helping me with that but it, it like it did feel like I had to like hide that part of myself and I think that side is that sensual gentle gentler side like there's something so powerful there and so powerful about reclaiming that and um, I think this ASMR channel has helped me connect with that as well because and, and watching ASMR and stuff has helped me with that I'm sure that some of you can relate to this because I've read your comments and I know that that's something that you can relate to is like it almost gives you permission to appreciate the subtleties and nuances a gentler softer, more mm, cozy <laughs> I don't know, supported nurturing, even nurturing of yourself nurturing of each other but also nurturing of the gentleness of the world, nurturing of these soft little pockets of sensation and like yeah, our senses, tuning into our senses and how sacred those can be and treating them with that kind of that deep love and appreciation anyway that's like my love letter to ASMR <laughs> for the day <laughs> it's really in here let me know if you can relate to that maybe I'm all alone there <laughs> pulling any of that out and then in the room a beautiful castle on top of that foundation that solid foundation of grounding and safety protection and security that we can then brick by brick just build this beautiful sanctuary for ourselves clearing and cleansing anything that's preventing you from having that balance with your finances as well with your physical body, with that connection to your physical body helping you to really feel like you are connected to the earth and the cosmos you are the meeting point of the two the energy of the cosmos floats in through your crown the energy of Gaia, Mama Gaia floats in from your, your root and they move together meeting at the heart space center of the seven primary chakras Anahata Anahata I need to clear these so I'm gonna place this on our selenite ones and kyanite is self-cleansing did you know that? okay I'm gonna do a little bit more plucking Maybe in the mental plane. Maybe 
Maybe we just have.
connecting with the parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest. So let's connect with that here. Breathe in, my darling, and exhale and release. You are divine, you are connected, you are expressive, you are loved, so loved, you are strong and capable, you are creative and emotionally balanced, you are safe, you are safe, you are safe my friend, safe to live the life of your dreams, safe to rest and rejuvenate. helpful and supportive. Thank you so much for being here. Really, it just means the world to me. I'm so, so grateful for you. I'm so grateful. Humbled. Grateful. Yeah. Honored. Be have a beautiful rest of your day or your night, okay? And until we meet again, be so well.